And welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 1. I didn't actually mention this, but I actually do hate this like area, <laughs> to be honest. It's really long and tedious, so that's why it was a good idea to cut it just there anyway. If you run over... I, yeah, uh, this is the other gimmick of this area. If you run water over ice, it will melt. You can walk over the melted ice, but not over the melted... Well, not over the water. If you jack out, the water will return, but the ice will not return. So essentially, ice melts by water, use water on ice, that's basically it. So as you can see, there's this tap, and there was ice down there. And as you could have seen, there was ice down there. So what we have to do is basically turn the handle again. <laughs> like so, to make water flow, and that will melt the ice. And then we actually have to turn this one off again. If you look closely, I don't know if you saw, but basically then this path is to the next area. So I'm just going to look around a bit because there's like items around here. Just a friendly neighborhood navvy. Yeah, this guy's really weird. And he says it's a dead end. Hmm. Oh well. And <laughs> it's a good thing that we look around because there's a HP memory, which I know I could use a ton of. <laughs> After that incident, which nobody ever saw. Oh no, the handle's missing. It looks like it's broken. Let's worry about this one later. And yeah, I think this just only goes down to there, so nothing much. Let's check up here. Oh, and I finally got dynamite. <laughs> I think I used it in the last recording, but I, yeah, not the last one, but the failed one. And basically what happens is you use dynamite, and it will just set a grenade in front of you. That will do 100 damage, and basically anybody that steps into, you know, sights, basically like a claymore, I guess. Anything that's in its sights will basically get blown up with 100 damage, which is fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's a great ship. It's a great ship. It's nice to see that we are getting some more powerful chips because really a lot of these chips are really bad that we have right now because they only do like 30 and 40 damage. I mean, eventually we'll probably upgrade all our cannon and stuff. Possibly. We might not even be able to, do, to be on. So over here there's this tap. Like so, let's turn it off of course. Because it was on, so we turn it off. Makes sense. Let's see, going all the way up here, all the way back around, like so. We can finally go to this bit and proceed on because the other water tap I think is in this, in another area which should be like this area or something. It might have been like up here or something. Not quite sure, but basically you can slide off that and then have to walk around again. Fantastic. Oh, there's a new enemy, an upgraded ghost guy. So it seems that we can't escape yet. <laughs> uh, let's see if this works. No. Try. I don't know if that guy goes down to the bottom like that and breaks it. Now he'll try and lick me, so I avoid that. And then throw this, and then voila! Another eight. Whoa, he can heal? Ghost guy too can heal! <laughs> That's interesting. Um. No, this probably won't work to be honest. So, yeah. Oh wait, well, aha, success! That was my plan all along. So it seems like that guy can heal. I guess he's got a medic sign on his head and hat, but I thought he would disappear. Oh well. Uh, white sword C. Not a chip that we need because C, yeah, there's not really that any white swords to be honest. Hmm, I was sure that water thing, like, went somewhere else, but I'm not so sure. I might have to double check and maybe even just come back into here if it's a really important thing. And yes, it is very fiddly trying to go around corners. Yeah, so who knows what I'm gonna do. I might go back, might look up, something like that. But let's turn off this handle. Because basically you kind of have to just turn off everything to be honest. It was only that one exception when it's trying to show you the water puzzle that you have to turn it on and off. So turn this off, and we can see there's a lovely item there. Let's see what it is. I think it was a decent one, only. Ice Punch B. <laughs> yeah, Ice Punch knocks stuff over. Range equals one. So essentially, it's like a sword, but water powered again, or ice. But technically, it's just water because there's no ice. Um, yeah, pretty much. Well, it's to be honest, it's slower. I'm pretty sure it's slower than a sword. So there's that. Really haven't got longsword yet, so I'm really not, you know, trying to get the sword combo any time soon. It seems, which is kind of sad because 
Hey, we got the blue bubbler. Oh, it's called the bubbler, not either. I don't know if I actually know, knew that, anyway. <laughs> and here's the er ne uh, place the next area. I'm pretty sure that was everything there. I'm not entirely sure, but oh well. And no, this isn't the area to tap. But yeah, this is one of the confusing bits. So you start off here, and this is one of those ones where you have to repeatedly do the cycle again until you get the right combination. Uh, all you do is go all the way to the top. Oh, we get number again and again. I don't know if I did number man, I'm just gonna put this in because, you know, just in case. But essentially number man basically is like a guts man. You roll a dice and he just explodes everything in that place. Although I think I like guts man more because he one destroys the floor and two he's very reliable in doing 40 damage. So number man's not that great. Sure you can get maybe 50 damage or 60 damage to everything but to be honest it's not that common. Like, you know, you have a 50% chance of getting something worse, or 50 percent chance of getting something better than Gutsman, so, or like equal to Gutsman or better. So all we need to do is go all the way to the bottom, <laughs> you want to get this chip anyway for an M Cannon L. Yeah, they're giving us powerful stuff, a nice big cannon indeed. So let's, let's find out where we're going to fit this lovely cannon again. Um, yeah, let's get rid of an, an A. Because really we've got so many cannons and really there's not much else. Huh. Oh yeah, we did get that bubbler just a couple of seconds ago. Hmm. Very hard to figure out which one I want to get rid of now. I guess I'll get rid of Dash even though there's like worse things than Dash. It's not super useful, and I already used it all. <laughs> I've used it once at least. But basically all you need to do uh, for this puzzle is go down to the very bottom one, like a big loop. Go down to here, go up to the very top, and then go down, and then I think you go down again. I'm not sure, but I think I was down again. I think I'm right. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> the cannons are just shooting each other. Come, come, come. Yeah, anyway. That's up that. Let's destroy that with one hit, like so. Get hit by dash because why not? <laughs> and then we can use the other cannon. Sadly, I don't think you can get like a normal small cannon, but medium cannon, big cannon. That'd be pretty good if you could actually get those to combo as well, but sadly not. So, yeah, this was the right way. All you need to do is go down there and then drop off the head. And we just basically keep carrying on walking through these pipes. Until we reach this big massive area for some reason. And then we fight these guys. Out of nowhere. These guys are, these bears are basically mandatory to fight, and they are deadly. They are deadly, so keep your eyes peeled for what they do. Basically they'll shoot eyes, and my suggestion is stay in the middle row so you have enough time to dodge them. But they can like combo you like crazy, so you know, watch out, watch out. Uh, let's use Number Man because it'll hit both of them at least. Sure, I had my other stuff, but oh well. And you can see, die bomb on did 20 damage each, so that's not so great. Other than, got, <laughs> compared to Gutsman, I almost got a hit there. So you just basically go down here, they will slide if you stay in the same row for long enough, but because I'm like triggering them to stay still, it's working out very, very well. Oh yeah, you can also use dynamite on your side of the field, you don't actually have to use it on theirs. I just did, so you know, you can actually, um, hit them a lot more than you'd expect. Um, like so you can hit things in the first row as well, not just like the back two rows. If you're wondering or worried that you had to do that. But let's just roll it quick, let's get rid of one of them. And then it should be smooth sailing from here. To be honest, in my practice run I didn't actually beat these guys, I died and I could bother doing it. So this should be fun. This should be fun. And voila! The bears are defeated. Ah, uh, we don't get any of those chips, sadly. I don't even know if you can. I 
think that was the virus causing the waterwork bug. Hmm. So it was just the polar bears just wearing. I like how they wore like woolly jumpers and uh, knitted hats. <laughs> Didn't actually mention that. Pretty easy, huh? I'll send you a fire shot. Well, I guess it's lucky that we have fire shots. <laughs> Melt dice on the water pump program. And then we can. So we fire. Oh, so, <laughs> so to defeat viruses, we should have it. To blow up this, we should hit it. Solving problems by shooting at it. It is the Mega Man way. Come back to town and we'll see how to water it. So, yeah, we basically solved the water crisis, basically. Um, there's probably nobody here, but I'm just gonna check out. Because, why not? Oh, there is somebody here. Still locked, someone's still typing inside. Oh, <laughs> I guess he was probably there all this time, to be honest. And I just went into this uh, water cooler all the time first, so I never actually saw it. So let's use the Scilab and leave. See if there's water now. <laughs> yeah, everybody's gone. <laughs> no security guards, no nothing. How mysterious. So the only way to check water is ACDZ town. I'm just curious, is everybody gone from here as well? I guess Sal's the only person here. Should probably say like a rematch. Yeah, where did everybody go? Eh, uh, no, I do not want to fight you again, just in case. Yeah, at least she's diligent in her job selling bento to everybody at lunchtime. And nobody's here as well. Either, they st <laughs> either they're celebrating or I don't know. Looks like you can't talk. Hmm, mysterious. So let's go quickly to ACD to see town and see what's going on. Sure is hot here, makes me even more thirsty. It's true, it is probably hot. We have to check out the water, and the closest way to check is the school pond. Isn't there a pond in the park? Why do I have to go all the way to the school? And, oh, it's purple. The water's all purple. That looks really nasty. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, everybody's got diarrhea. <laughs> sure, he won't drink the river water. Like, people won't drink the river water, but they'll drink purple water. Is it like grape lemonade or like grape some drinks that I'm probably not going to say? <laughs> anyway. And now he's dead. Hmm, you've done it now, huh? People are drinking the polluted water everywhere. Oh no! So we stopped the- so we unclogged it, but it seems like it wasn't over. Hmm, the real problem was in the water filtering program. Oh, oh. This is all your fault. No, it is our fault. Just stay out my way, okay? We have created- <laughs> we have killed everybody in ACDC town <laughs> and everywhere else. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It's not your fault. Yeah, we can fix it. Let's let's try and fix it and leave this guy. He still wants water, even though he drank polluted water. So shouldn't he say I need a doctor rather than water? Oh well. Let's just leave his body here and we shall try and figure out what wrong or what to do next time. And let's play Mega Man Battle Network. What? Cliffhanger. And menu swapping. Fire, 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 fire. Fireman burns the fish. Thunder!